Chang Lei. Journalist held in China says she sees only 10 hours of sun a year. Here's a summary of the article. An Australian journalist, held in detention in China for three years as of this weekend, has spoken publicly for the first time. I miss the sun. In my cell, the sunlight shines through the window, but I can stand in it for only 10 hours a year, Cheng Lei said in an open letter to the people of Australia, dictated to diplomats who are able to speak to her each month. In March last year, Ms. Cheng was tried in secret and has been waiting for a year and four months to be sentenced. Australia's ambassador to China, Graham Fletcher, tried unsuccessfully to gain entry to the court to witness proceedings. The letter released today is filled with nostalgia of her life in Australia, the country her family immigrated to from Hunan province when she was just 10 years old. There has been some speculation that the sentencing of Ms. Chang has been delayed so that her case can be used as a bargaining chip in the Chinese government's dealings with its Australian counterpart. He is coming under considerable pressure at home not to make the trip until Ms. Chang and fellow Australian Yang Hangjun have been released. This post received a score of 9,600, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Wow that's such a strong vitamin D deficiency. That's depression regardless of your physical situation otherwise. One crime against humanity after another. I'll let this serve as my reminder to go outside more. Remind us me of the Swedish Chinese citizen he's a journalist that was critical of the CCP. He went from Sweden to Thailand on vacation. And disappeared. When it came out the Chinese took him. They released a video of him saying basically, all is well. I went back on my own accord EC, the look on him while he says all this says otherwise. Sad, but to be expected of that government. I'm surprised she's even getting any info out from whatever secret 10 hours of sun a year jail she's in. You would imagine China would really keep her imprisonment a total blackout. 10 hours a year is a total blackout emo. I think they meant that she is able to speak with Australian diplomats. She's charged with being a spy. I'm surprised she isn't executed already. Heck, when somebody gets accused of being a Chinese spy usually the response from Reddit is that we should execute them. China doesn't really have a history of executing foreign political prisoners. Plus they can't bargain for her if she's dead. Greater than China doesn't really have a history of executing foreign prisoners. They literally executed a South Korean a week ago. For drug trafficking. He wasn't just a random person detained for political reasons. Actually, a lot of countries in Asia dish out death sentences for drug trafficking. It is also the first time in nine years that it has happened. So she's being held in the UK? She's living in a semi-detached house in Manchester. Oof I felt that one whilst I'm sitting in a semi-detached house in Manchester, after having just completed a round of VD tablets due to deficiency. Hope you went outside today at least. It's been lovely. No reason to ever visit China. This article proves the point. I would rather visit Taiwan. So the real China? Un, surprisingly enough, they don't like being referred to as China. I went with a Taiwanese native to an Asian heritage parade, and when I decided to use my Reddit knowledge to ask her about Taiwan and tell her that technically they have a more legitimate claim as the mainland China than current China has because of their history, she WTF faced me and reiterated multiple times over how Taiwanese people want Taiwan to be recognized as Taiwan and not China anything and that no one thinks of Taiwan like that over there but fringe politicians. I'll have to stick with just sharing pictures from here. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.